Hey Boss, it's Horton here and I'm uh, literally floating in the Boss Bray Centurion this morning. I just upgraded my mirror to the, I think they call it the 140, the PTM. I, uh, this boat came with a smaller one and we upgraded it way better. Except now I think Rico's watching me the whole time he's supposed to be driving. But that's not why we're here today. So, um, about five, six years ago, I was in Salt Lake City skiing with Parsons. Now, everybody knows Parsons is is whack. He's crazy the coconuts, maybe criminally insane. I mean, the guy's goofy, but he knows a lot about ski setup. He knows a lot about ski technology. And at the time, uh, he was using good power shells. And I watched him take a ski ride and come back to the dock and move his bindings one sixteenth of an inch. And I was like, holy crap. Because when I move my bindings on most binding plates, it's three eighths. Or uh, the radar product is 3 16 if you use the sequence plate. But that's still a massive change when you think that we get, we get particular about 5 thousandths of an inch or 3 thousandths of an inch in our fin change. So um, I kind of went home and started thinking and thinking and calling people and talking to people about stuff. And I drew up uh, a drawing that I passed around to people in the industry and showed it uh, out on the forum. And finally, a guy named Cody from um, Minnesota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, a buddy of Schneewins, uh, took the bait, and he took my drawings, and he started developing on, on it, and that's how we got MicroJust. So this is the latest MicroJust, and I uh, thought I'd take the opportunity to show it to you guys off the ski. So... Cody does a really kick-butt job when he sends it to you. He sends you all the tools you need to retrofit your ski to it. So when I get done shooting this video, I'm going to go actually put it on a ski. And so I'll let you see it. But here's the raw part. So here is the top, top clamp. And I, as usual in the video, I know you can't see it very well. There's a little spring here. And here's the bottom of the jaws. So what happens is, is you screw this onto your binding plate, you slot out your holes, and then this replaces one of your ski screws, and you set that down in there, and now you have this incredibly fine adjust on your binding placement. I really believe that if you are moving your fin and bindings around and you're not doing this, you're missing a whole level of granularity. So micro adjust, um, I will put the URL in the video right there. And then I'm going to go back to the dock and shoot some more video of me putting this on my um, HO Syndicate or Edge boot plate. I forget which one. Both, maybe. I'm kind of all HO today, if you see. Kind of in an HO mood. So um, I'll be right back. So now we're in my workshop, and what you see in the picture is the HO Syndicate hard shell. And like most bindings on the market, you will see that um, you have about 3 eighths of an inch of adjustability. Actually, with this plate, it's better than that. It's closer to quarter, I think. But if you really want that super fine granular setting, um, doing this may void your warranty with HO. So... Guys at HO, if you, I apologize if you, uh, if you don't like this, but for me, I want that little bit extra. So I'm going to cut out these slots, and then I'm going to install the micro adjust up, on, up here. So the mistake that, that I've made in the past, which I'm going to warn you against now, is you don't want to install the micro adjust back here because it's, because it's going to interfere with this release hardware. So... Um, Pretty incredibly simple to do this. Uh, I just use a Dremel, and because this is a G10 plate, it's just gonna cut like butter. So really, you gotta be careful to go slow and not do too much. Okay, so I'm gonna put the micro adjust in the middle. I'm going to put it right here. So I just kind of got to find my spot. I'm going to line up. I'm going to put it right side up at least. I'm going to line that up right there. And 
I'm just going to mark this and then hang it off the edge of my uh, table so I don't drill through, obviously. Put this in the middle of the slot. If I had paid attention, I would have noticed that Cody does in fact provide the exact right size drill bit. So I'm going to correct the size of this hole. And by the way, Cody works in the machine industry, so um, the drill bit and the countersink that he provides are really better than you're going to find locally. Uh, they work perfectly. Now this next step, if you had a drill press, it's going to look much better. What I'm doing here is the super fast, um, get it done quick application, and it works fine. But if anybody out there is a machinist and they're watching me do this, I know I'm making your skin crawl. And the other one I'm about to do is terrible. Just look the other way. So for the rest of you that are going to do it my way, you just flip the boot over. And what we're doing is we're creating a, uh, a countersink space uh, for the screw that's going to go through the plate. So let me just actually, let me pop the, uh, let me get the boot out of here. And I'll flip this over. So I'm going to count. And again, if you have a drill press, use your drill press. This is, this is not the way it should be done. I'm going to test fit this and it's still a little tight. And that's going to be just snug, which I think is perfect. Happen to have Allen keys here handy. I have massive amounts of adjustability, just massive amounts of adjustability. Um, I know that <laughs> there's a guy up in Northern California who's counterfeiting these. Bob Hardiman, I love you, knock yourself out. But um, the ones that Bob's are making, lots of people are running them on both sides of the plate. You don't need to do that, you just need one. Slots all the way around, micro adjust on one of the slots I recommend, it's one of the forward slots. That's it. There's nothing to it. I'm going to put this back on a ski here in just a moment. Okay, so I have my HO Syndicate boot or Edge system or Syndicate system. Uh, uh, love them both. Uh, mounted on my generic white Psalm ski. And I've, I've measured it to the exact spot I want it. To the, to the 16th. You know, it's much, much more granular than any of the stock binding products on the market. And now, I've mounted my boot exactly where I want it. This brings me full circle back to uh, Nick Parsons all those years ago when Nick was able to, using dual lock or interlock, um, pick up his bindings and move it a sixteenth of an inch. And so now I'm not, I'm not stuck in quarter or three eighths inch movements as most of the stock bindings on the market. So I highly recommend this, the micro adjust. Uh, again, the, um, the URL is right there. Okay, so now you see my hands.